Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Friday, April 14th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 14, the first way of service, prayer. Tertiary seek to live in an atmosphere of praise and prayer. We aim to be constantly aware of God's presence, so that we may indeed pray without ceasing. Our ever-deepening devotion to the indwelling Christ is a source of strength and joy. It is Christ's love that inspires us to service and strengthens us for sacrifice. Lord Jesus, in your servant Francis, you displayed the wonderful power of the cross. Help us always to follow you in the way of the cross and give us strength to resist all temptation. To you, Lord, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, be all glory forever. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is risen indeed. O come. Let us worship. Christ our Passover. Alleluia. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died... He died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since a man came, so for since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ all shall be made alive. Alleluia. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his mercy endures forever. <clears throat> Who only does great wonders, for his mercy endures forever. Who by his wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters, for his mercy endures forever. Who created great lights, for his mercy endures forever. The sun to rule the day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and the stars to govern the night, for his mercy endures forever. Who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, for his mercy endures forever, and brought out Israel from among them, for his mercy endures forever. With a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, for his mercy endures forever, who divided the Red Sea in two, for his mercy endures forever, and made Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his mercy endures forever, but swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea, for his mercy endures forever, who led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy endures forever, who struck down great kings, for his mercy endures forever, and slew mighty kings, for his mercy endures forever. Sihon, the king of the Amorites, for his mercy endures forever, and Og, the king of Bashan, for his mercy endures forever, and gave away their lands for an inheritance, for his mercy endures forever, an inheritance for Israel his servant for his mercy endures forever. Who remembered us in our lowest state, for his mercy endures forever, 
and delivered us from our enemies, for his mercy endures forever. Who gives food to all creatures, for his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his mercy endures forever. Maker and sustainer of all things, source of all life and goodness, help us always to love and serve one another and to worship you with joy and gladness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I have said these things to you to keep you from stumbling. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, an hour is coming when those who kill you will think that they are doing, by doing so they are offering worship to God. And they will do this because they have not known the Father or me. But I have said these things to you so that when their hour comes you may remember that I told you about them. I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you. But now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment. About sin, because they do not believe in me. About righteousness, because I am going to the Father and you will see me no longer. About judgment, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of Truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth. For he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. And all that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In joy and hope, let us pray to the source of all life, saying, Hear us, Lord of glory. <clears throat> that our risen Savior may fill us with the joy of his holy and life-giving resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. For the Church throughout the world, for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. That isolated and persecuted churches may find fresh strength in the Easter Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. For our leaders, for Bishop William, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Chris, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin, that he may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. 
for those among us this day who will feel the effects of systemic racism, prejudice, poverty, or homelessness. That he may provide for those who lack food, work, or shelter. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. For the world, especially Yemen, Sudan, Syria, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran, Palestine, Israel, North and South Korea, Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan, and the United States, that by his power wars and famine may cease throughout all the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. For those in our hospital, our nursing homes, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation, that he may reveal the light of his presence to the sick, the weak, and the dying, that they may be comforted and strengthened, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon his people, that we may bear faithful witness to his resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. <clears throat> In our prayers for the third order this morning, we pray for the African province, for Tanzania, Zambia, and Malawi, and we pray for Cynthia, Vera Lee, Gordon, Solange, Mika, Derek, Jessica, David, Sarah, Jessica, Paul, Chris, Alicia, Barbara, Joy, Teresa, Lillian, Claudio, Jocelyn, and our companions Lyle, John, and Alma. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis, and win others to your love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord of life and power, through the mighty resurrection of your Son, you have overcome the old order of death and sin, and have made all things new in him. May we, being dead to sin, and alive to you in Jesus Christ, reign with him in glory, who with you and the Holy Spirit is alive, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.